Hi, in this problem we're going to show that the distance between the point x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and x sub 1 comma y sub 2 is the absolute value of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So to do this we're basically just going to compute the distance between these two points using the distance formula and see what happens. So let's go ahead and go through it. Proof. So we'll start simply by just writing the distance formula out. So the distance I'll use lowercase d to denote the distance between two points. It's the square root of, and the formula basically says that you take the x-coordinates of your points and you subtract them and you square the result. So it'll be x sub 1 minus x sub 1 squared plus, again, just taking the x-coordinates and subtracting the results and squaring it. And then you subtract the y coordinates. So subtract y1 minus y2. And then you square the result. Again, subtract the x's, square the result, subtract the y's, square the result. So this is going to be 0. So I'll show all the steps. So this is 0 squared, which is just 0, plus parentheses y sub 1 minus y sub 2, and then that's squared. OK, so this is equal to the square root of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. And this is actually equal to the absolute value of y1 minus y sub 2. And this is simply because, let me use a different color here to denote y, if you have the square root of x squared, that's equal to the absolute value of x. Okay, so here, you think of this whole thing here as your x, so you get the absolute value of x. Now we have to show it's equal to the distance between y2 and y1. Well, the distance between y1 and y2 is equal to the distance between y2 and y1, and so that completes the proof. If this is not clear, let me just come to the side here and show you. Let's pick a fun color. Let's go with orange. No one never uses orange anymore. So if we have this, what you can do is the following. You could factor out a negative 1, and that's going to give you y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And you can check negative 2 times y sub 2 is negative y sub 2. Rather, negative 1 times y sub 2 is negative y sub 2, and negative 1 times negative y sub 1 is positive y sub 1. And then when you have the absolute value of a product, you can break it up like this. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. And 1 times anything is that anything. So this is going to be the absolute value of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So that's just a little verification of that step there. So um, not too bad. So kind of a just a random problem. Thought I would make a video. Good luck.